What's good, gang? Welcome back to the channel. Man, your boy's been having, like, the worst couple last couple months, man. And, like, I haven't really been, like, talking or, like, you know, explaining what's really been going on with me, my life, behind the scenes. And then today, man, today is, like, the day that, like, really put the icing on the cake for me, bro. Like, <sighs> so, how could I put this? As you guys know... YouTube was never my uh, primary income, right, or source of income. I've always done YouTube just for the fun of it, creating videos, you know, hanging out with the homies, recording my life, and just, like, putting it out there in hopes of it to, you know, grow and become something where maybe it could be my um, primary source of income. So, if you guys can tell by the way this video is going today, which is October 17th, today, your boy got laid off of work, and... It kind of sucks because I gave this company 10 years of my life, bro. Like, 10 years of my life. I've been working there since I was 19, and I leveled up throughout the company. Um, as you guys know, I'm going to be turning 30 on the 28th, so literally 11 days from today, right? Um, tomorrow is my three-year anniversary of being married to my wife. And, like, it kind of sucks because it's like the little things that you want to do now you kind of got to like be mindful of and like you know I'm not sitting here trying to like make you guys feel sorry for me because like that's just not what I'm here to do I've always been out here to like you know make content entertain you guys and show you guys that like you know if I could do something I know you guys could do it too and you know sometimes I do sit here and like I think about the things that like maybe I could do better things that like could be better but right now like life is just not going the way I wanted to um you know I didn't really want to speak on this because you know it was really, really fresh, but, like, you know, in the beginning of this month, I lost a one-year-old. Now, it wasn't my child. It was, you know, um, it's crazy. I lost a one-year-old to, like, a heart attack from having surgery, and it kind of sucks because, like, you know, it was so much more life to that to that child, and it feels, it, it, it really messed me up a lot. Um, and like I said, it's not my child. It wasn't my son or my kid or anything like that, but... It was someone that was close to my family that I saw the kid every day. You know what I mean? Like, the kid was here every day. You know, we hung out. I watched him. I did everything. You know, what you would do as a, as like an older, I guess you would call me like an older uncle for him. Um, so it kind of hit me hard for that and like, you know, losing that and then now losing my job. And then like just seeing like, you know, obviously like the decline in my channel. Like, I see it. We all see it. If you're watching my videos, you see it. Um, my channel has been declining, and, you know, i just been, like, really, really in my head, and, like, part of me wants to give up, like, doing all this YouTube shit, this car shit, just give it up and, like, really just kind of focus on myself, but then part of me is, like, you know, if you're stuck somewhere and the situation isn't good, do you just stay there and give up, or do you try to get out that situation and make it better? And make a better way for yourself. And that's kind of what my mind is going to. Is like maybe me losing my job today was a blessing in disguise. Maybe it could be for me to do something better with myself. I don't know. Like I said, I gave this job 10 years of my life, bro. And like you guys watch me, bro. From they well, I obviously I was working there before I started YouTube. Because, you know, obviously I had my RSX at the time. And I never posted any videos about my RSX. But anyway, um, you know, you guys have been watching me for all these years. You know, maybe you feel like I may have leveled up, may have, it feels like, some may feel like I've been in the same position, I don't know. But, it kind of sucks just knowing that, like, you know, the little things that I enjoy, I'm not going to be able to do for a little while, just because, like, I can't spend my money on things frivolously how I was before, because, obviously, now I'm not working. Uh, I'm going to try to find another job, I'm going to try to figure out what I could do, uh, maybe try something different, I don't know. Corporate America is not for everybody, um, but that's what I was in. Yeah, man, it just sucks, bro. It sucks. Like, I, I at first I wasn't even going to talk on it. I was just going to let it rock and be. Because obviously, like, I didn't talk about any of the other stuff that kind of goes on with me. But I just felt like I wanted to get on there and just talk to you guys and just, like, let you know that, like, I'm good. I'm trying. I'm still work. Well, I'm still working to be a better person and work on this channel and try to make things better. But, like, there's also a part in where everybody's left where, you know, you feel like you kind of hit rock bottom. And right now, that's where I feel like I'm at, at rock bottom. Um, so yeah, man, it, it sucks, you know, your boy's about to turn 30, and I feel like I'm bringing in my 30, like, on a real bad note, man, and it, it sucks, but what can I do, what can I say, you know, I just gotta thug it out, be a man, and, you know, 
figure out what I could do to make my life better, make my life easier, and get back on track. So, I don't know. Like, part of me is like, yo, should I just sell everything and just kind of, like, regroup and kind of get myself back in order? Or do I thug it out, push out as many videos as I can, hope that you guys watch it, <laughs> and try to become something? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Everything in life is always a risk, and I'm always willing to take a risk, but sometimes it's like... I've been doing this shit for so long, bro, and it's like, I've been stagnant, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been stagnant, or like, now it's like, everything's declining. And like, you know, most of you guys who watch me are men, so like, you kind of understand the feelings that I feel. It's like, as a man, you want everything, you know, you want to make sure your family's straight, you want to make sure you have everything, you be able to make sure you can pay all your bills, make sure you, you can make sure that your wife is doing good, make sure food is on the table, all that stuff. And it's like, right now at this moment, I just feel like I don't know where I'm going to be at, you know? So... It, it sucks, but what can I do? What can I say? Like I said, I've been working my ass off, bro. Like, And that's why it sucks for me because I've really been working my ass off. Like, buying new things to get this channel up, updated and, and going. New camera, new lenses, all this stuff. And it's like, still nothing, you know? And it's like, you know, obviously, like, I have to be part to blame because it's my content. I'm supposed to be putting out great content, but... I don't know. You guys let me know, man. Like, do you think I should just take a step away from this thing and, you know, focus on myself? Or do you guys think this should be the, the, the icing on the cake to push myself to go harder to maybe make something of this channel? You know, like, I've been doing this shit for a couple years now, bro. And it's like, yeah, I made it to 38,000, but I've been stuck at 38,000 for, like, the last two years, bro. And, you know, I don't see it growing. I don't see it, like, moving up, like couple videos will go up, a couple videos, most majority of the videos have been, like, down, so, I don't know, I really don't know, I also got this, uh, tire light code on the car, I don't know if it's still gonna show on here, but I got a tire light code, because, you know, obviously the weather change, ah. so, all these other tires are good, I also extended out my exhaust tips a little bit, I thought it would look a little bit cooler with the extended exhaust tips. You probably won't even be able to see it like that. Just because they're black, but... I saw a car on uh, Facebook, and I was like, yo. I like how the exhaust tips kind of, like, poke out a little bit. So I extended mine out. Alright, so this right tire here dropped down to, like, 27 PSI. I'm pretty sure it's because of, like, the weather change and, you know, how things is going right now, so... Um, I'm going to just put some air back in the tire. I got my air tank on inside. If you guys remember that for the OGs, y'all remember I had like an air tank. And um, yeah, I'm just going to fill it back up, make sure it's good. Make sure, honestly, hopefully there's no uh, nail or anything in the car because the tires are like brand new. But when I was driving over here because I went to uh, go drop some stuff off, the PSI was actually going back up because at first it was like 26. The PSI started going up to like 27. So I think it's just a little slight... Um, you know, air leak from out of it, just from the cold and the weather change. So I'm going to just put some air in the tire, make sure uh, everything's straight. I'll put air in all the tires all the way around. It looks like it's honestly about to rain, bro. But I'm going to just give the car just a slight rinse off. You know what I mean? Just to get it all in, all clean and whatnot. Because it's not that it's that dirty, but I just want to clean it off. So I'm going to just rinse the car off. So yeah guys, car's all clean now, man, and um, I just want to say to you guys, man, for those of you who have been watching my videos for like the last past like seven years, I think, man, it's been, it's been a real like long run, a fun run, you know what I'm saying, you guys done see me go from Honda to Honda to Honda to BMW to BMW to Honda up to this M4 that we have today, um, and I just want to say, man, even though like right now I feel down and I feel like life ain't going the way I want it to, and, like, I'm not in the position and space that I feel like I should be in, um, I just know that I can't give up on myself, and that's one thing that I've always taught myself is to never give up on myself, so if you're in the same situation or you feel like, you know, life ain't going the way you want it to either, just think about that, just, bro, don't give up, push, 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 eventually something gonna give, and that's how I always looked at life, something has to give eventually. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the most spiritual person in the world. You know what I mean? I believe in God. I believe in, you know, a higher power. I'm not sitting here acting like I go to church every Sunday or something like that. But, like, you know, I do believe that, like, if there's a will, there's a way. So, you know, 
as you guys see me at my, I feel like my lowest right now. Um, I just want you guys to take that in and just know that, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep trying. And, you know, it takes a lot to deal with what I've been dealing with. But, you know, eventually I feel like I said something I'll give.